Well, uh, hello again. Are skyscrapers a thing of the past? Well, look, this recent announcement from uh, China that they're going to forbid the building of the tallest skyscrapers kind of caught me by surprise. Uh, I didn't think that it was even a concern of theirs or, for that matter, of anybody else's. Uh, huge, tall buildings, uh, they've been a modern phenomenon for years, with countries vying to have the tallest ones here in Britain. We have the Shard, that's the tallest in Europe. Uh, but there are a lot of concerns about skyscrapers. I suppose they've been exacerbated by the change in work habits arising from the COVID epidemic. Some people believe this is all nonsense and that skyscrapers will continue indefinitely, while others think, no, they've had it. Okay, I look, as usual, at both views. <laughs> Uh, first of all, those who think, uh, yes, they are in the past, they're on their way out. Well, the developers think so. Planning applications in London are way down. Uh, for the last uh, couple of years, they've been in decline. What better evidence do you need than that, that the market realizes that the game is over? Uh, most notably, there's the whole question about how much office space do we really need? Uh, many businesses are encouraging homework for their employees and others are requiring only a few days of work in the office. So less time is wasted commuting and that costs money. Uh, less space is needed in the office if you don't have every desk occupied every day of the week. Uh, and some of the pressures to avoid the uh, problems, the depredations of huge buildings, uh, they've been underway for quite a long time, decades really, when big companies started moving out into suburban areas. It was especially uh, noteworthy, uh, I remember this, in New York City when many decamped to Connecticut. It, it just exemplified the realization that lives in huge, cramped, confined buildings was perhaps less desirable than we had once thought. Uh, and I'm afraid for some, the 9-11 terrorist attacks left us with uh, indelible memories and images of planes crashing into buildings. Uh, how could we possibly feel safe in a, in a high-rise building again? Uh, then there is the wind problem. Um, the city of London now requires tall buildings to account for the wind tunnel effect. Uh, the effect on pedestrians below on the street level, also on the building itself. They have to take steps to test for and mitigate the impact from the earliest stages of the design process. Uh, and because of fears from infection, uh, people simply don't want to be working close to one another in hermetically sealed boxes, which is what modern officers really are. At the very least, this means taking a fundamentally new approach to building and office design, but it may even signal growing employee resistance and dissatisfaction about working in groups, which could represent the death knell of large office buildings. So, there are a lot of arguments against uh, their continuing success. The, uh, the storm clouds are, are on the horizon for... Uh, for skyscrapers, uh, certainly those that are uh, very high, such as those which are being forbidden in China. Well, what about those who poo-poo all this and say, no, they are not. They're not on their way out. They have a big future. Well, they would say, first of all, that we're still going to need office space for large organizations just because of the need for collegiate activity and work. It's, it's not entirely replaceable by online discussion via Zoom and Microsoft Teams and the like. And in any case, it'll be some time before the broad impact of a lot of these restrictive rules and, and legislations and so forth, market-driven changes in skyscraper architecture, before that can be observed. There's a big time lag in all of this. And they've yet to slow down the significant backlog still of hundreds of proposed towers uh, in London, in, in any case. But then uh, many people still want to be crammed together for all of the benefits of a social and collegiate connection. 
There are two Harvard economics professors, uh, Messrs. Glazer and Cutler, they've looked into this, and what they've written is, quote, the ability of cities to enable the joys of human interactions and shared experiences may be their greatest protection against urban exodus. And, of course, there's going to be urban exodus if they can no longer afford to build high buildings because low buildings just won't work in big cities. The economics don't work. Uh, Hong Kong is doing a great deal in all of this. They're using artificial intelligence to answer environmental objections. They're installing different approaches to elevators, air conditioning units, monitoring energy consumption in real time, so forth. Uh, and in Hong Kong, there just simply isn't any new space. So they have no choice but to go in this direction. So they are really doing a good job of this. They're the world innovators in making high buildings more environmentally acceptable. Uh, uh, and uh, that kind of technology improvement and development really answers the most fundamental of objections to skyscrapers. And those Hong Kong experts are also addressing the so-called embedded carbon component uh, of the problem, that is the environmental impact of the construction process itself by using more environmentally responsible materials to save energy and so forth. They are really on the case, so they are going to really give us some guidance on this whole subject. Well, what is my take on all of this? What do I believe? Well, as I see it, the battle is between the fundamental economic need for uh, urban density and and uh, and the collegial aspects of working versus the pressures imposed by global warming and environmental in general. I think that artificial intelligence and especially Hong Kong is going to show us the way. Uh, huge amounts of money are at stake in this industry. Every effort is going to be made to meet all of the objections to big buildings. And my guess is that they'll probably do a pretty good job of it eventually and in the long run. So I think skyscrapers are going to be with us uh, <laughs> for the foreseeable future. Well, I hope you liked that as usual. If you did, please give me a like, subscribe, uh, notify, comment, and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.